Hi Pisces, welcome to your general reading for September. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, this is a general reading focused more on uh, career, money, finances, uh, just general energies around you. If I do see anything about love, I will um, say what I see, but I want this to be more focused on other energies around you at this time. So welcome in everyone. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So this is intended for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, to general collective reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you. Not everything in here may resonate. Please keep that in mind. Could pick up on some past, present, or future energies. Keep that in mind also. Or maybe someone around you may be dealing with energies coming out here. So keep that in mind too. I will say the signs as I see them. Only take them how they resonate for you. Could be signs and charts or just energy. So keep that um, in mind also. So there will be an extended uh, to this Pisces. If this does resonate for you and you would like to see the extended, I will tell you all about that at the end. So Pisces, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces at this time? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective readings. For Pisces spirit, please thank you so much. Pisces, I'm going to get you one oracle from each deck here. See what's going on in your energy, what you need to know, or what you're, what are you dealing with. See what, what's going on here for you, Pisces. And then we'll get you some messages with the tarot and see what's going on. Everything you need to know, Pisces, is down in the description box. Decks I'm using, my social media links, your playlists are down there, love in general. So if you'd like to check those out, I do consider them timeless. Your August readings are up there also. Your September Love Connection reading is there. And uh, you can check that out if you like to. If you're new or returning or familiar with my channel, have not yet subscribed, do consider subscribing. Or you can check it out further if you like to. Hit the bell, like, share, subscribe, comment. If you hit the bell, you won't miss out on any readings. If you do, thank you. Welcome to the family. Memberships are almost, uh, also... Uh, available. If you're interested in becoming a member of the channel, click on the join button and see what I have to offer and check it out. Or the pin top comment or the description box. Lots of stuff down there. All right. Scorpio. Let's see what we have. So we have surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend some time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. And I also feel like it's time to be like your natural self. Like, don't get so caught up on looking, like, 100% all the time or, you know, being what other people want you to be or thinking what other people want you to be. You know, it's time to just strip it all down and be your natural self inside and out. And maybe, you know, some of you do, do need to spend some time, get you know, if you're spending too much time indoors, you know, if it's hiking or walking or whatever you like to do outside, you haven't been doing it or just lost track and something you still love to do. Maybe it's time now to get back into that. Now that we're coming into the fall season where it's a lot more crisper, cleaner, and cooler, we can get back out there and start doing all these things that we love to do again. And we have here passion, 34, which is 7. 7 is a divinely guided spiritual number. The frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let it let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. So you may be feeling fiery passion about something like getting a new perspective and finding balance, you know, moving from chaos and, you know, spend some time outside, away from it all. Go on vacation or go away for the weekend or for a day, for an hour, for, you know, whatever it is for you. Some of you just like like to make me go just like walking in the forest <laughs> and exploring, you know. Oops. Okay. So we have Kadja. I don't even know how to say this. The mother of believers. I am spiritually, financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. So... So this is being spiritually connected. So maybe you need to get more spiritually connected and it could help you by being outside around nature. And I do see financially abundance coming in, financially abundant coming in. So either, you know, your finance is going to be picking up or you're in a good, or you're in a good place right now. 
you're just feeling, you know, fiery passion about life. And you have all of this within yourself. That's kind of, this is the Divine Feminine Oracle. So whether you're male or female, we all have Divine Feminine, uh, feminine qualities in us. All right. So let's get some messages for you here, Pisces. I'm going to pull, um, okay, we got two there. We'll use some messages. And then we'll do the bottom of the deck energy. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Let's get one more. All right, let's see what your over underlying energy is a magician. So manifesting a brand new beginning for yourself. Gemini Virgo. So this is starting over, starting fresh, starting new having all the tools and resources. So feeling fiery, passionate about life again, you know, feeling maybe rejuvenated with the uh, beauty here of the natural world, nature, and feeling like you're empress of emperor power and just ready to set forth on a new journey here. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Cups. So again, working hard here, um, mastering a craft, you know, rebuilding yourself, building yourself up, uh, maybe just working hard right here. So, Page of Cups can be children, doesn't have to be, but this is loving communication, something sincere, heartfelt. Somebody may be looking, overlooking you working hard, and some of you, um, wherever you work, you may be getting maybe like a little promotion, or just recognized someone just, you know, giving you um, maybe like an award or something like that, like really wanting to um, praise your efforts, your hard work being diligent, and it's coming from a sincere, um, honest place here. So I think you'll be rewarded, um, maybe financially or just, you know, with a certificate or an award or something like that, or really being recognized for your hard work, coming from a really uh, good place. So we do have the Four of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So you may be holding back from going out and celebrating and... Um, you know, having fun times with friends and family. You know, maybe you're scared of the epidemic right now and you're like, no, I'm just going to stay in. Again, staying in, staying with to yourself, you know, kind of holding back. So I think you're refraining here from going out and letting yourself have a good time. But it's telling you here to, to surrender the natural of, to the beauty of the natural world and it could be just surrendering to all the world has to offer, all the fun times, all the happy times, celebratory times. You may be getting something here in your work where, you know, they want to celebrate you, but you're kind of, you know, maybe you're a little shy. Maybe you don't like the attention also. So you have the Six of Swords and the Ten of Swords in reverse. So, I don't know, I feel like they need to be upright because they flew out funny and uh, I don't want to take them upside down. But the Six of Swords is about, so this is a painful ending. But we're moving on to a better place here with the Six of Swords energy here. So whatever ending you've been through, maybe you didn't even see it coming. Again, we have something out in nature here. We have deer here. Um, but you're moving on, you know, moving to a better place of healing and balance, leaving all the BS behind. So whatever ended for you um, in your life that you just experienced or you're going through, only you know what that is. I don't feel like it's career related. It could be a relationship or something just coming to a close, to an end, and you're just moving on in a very uh, in a good place. You could be traveling. You could be moving. All right. So we have the Page of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Again, I feel like it's kind of situated over here. So the Hierophant is Taurus. Some of you may be getting proposed to or engaged. Coming up here, maybe in the fall from an earth sign um, or somebody who wants to really commit and offer you long term. But this is also telling you to be, um, again, that faith, spirituality, energy, religion, how it is for you, being committed, doing what's moral, just and right, being committed to the journey. So some of you may have, you know, your work or career may see how committed you are, how hard you're working, and you may get a raise or promotion here um, in your work, I feel. Or some of you could be getting engaged or married. Oh, okay. Let's see here. So the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So I think here you're refraining from 
things moving too quickly. Because the Seven of Wands can be a little defensive, on guard. So somebody may come at you um, in a harsh energy, but it's like you block them. You know exactly how to stand your ground, how to stand up to this person. Maybe someone you've been dealing with for a while in your energy. It could be a friend or a co-worker, or maybe that's why you're like, you know, I just want to keep to myself. I don't want to deal with anyone. I'm sick of drama. I'm sick of this energy. So this could be someone, you know, this is Aquarius energy around in your energy that just comes in and they just cause trouble. They're obnoxious. They're, you know, loud. They're boisterous. You know, they cause trouble. And I just want to don't want to deal with that energy with the Seven of Wands. So you kind of put your walls up, your defensive on guard. You know how to block this person when you need to. So that could be why you're refraining from maybe, you know, they're part of a group of friends and you're like, every time we go out, there's trouble with this person. So maybe that's why you refrain from, you know, going out with co-workers and friends. You're like, yeah, I just rather keep to myself. So it's kind of what I'm getting with that. Or if you have somebody coming out, you in this energy, make sure that you can defend yourself. You know how to defend yourself. You put your walls up uh, and you stand your ground and you fight for what's right. You fight for yourself. So we have the Eight of Swords and the King of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is, you know, self-imposed mental bondage here, being stuck in your head. But we have the King of Swords here, Gemini energy, King and Queen. So this King, you know, thinks very, very clearly, very logical, smart, practical, analytical, very clear, clear thinking, wise decision, wise choices, um, like a wise advisor kind of energy. Or you could have somebody around you who is a wise advisor or guidance or legal, you know, someone in the legal field or something like that then help that can help you get unstuck from a situation that you've been feeling um, stuck in, either mentally, physically, or whatever it is for you. Um, you know, so reach if you've been thinking about reaching out for, you know, assistance in some way, shape, or form, professional assistance, uh, this is probably telling you probably would be a good idea. You know, whether, again, it's a lawyer or a counselor or a therapist or... Um, ad, you know, wise advisor or some of some kind here that may help you get um, unstuck from a situation that's keeping you um, tight and bound in some way, shape, or form. And it could be this energy here that I just spoke of. But I feel like whatever you do here, that you can have all this fire, this passion, you know, stay spiritually connected moving forward. So I feel like resting, rejuvenating, um, you know, continue working hard because I think you'll be getting a raise or promotion. Some may be getting engaged, be able to manifest a whole new beginning for yourself. Some of you, I think of refraining from partying too much or going out too much, kind of keeping to yourself. Somebody you may need to uh, stand up against in your energy. So don't be afraid to do that. Whatever ending some of you may be going through, I see you moving on to a better place. And whatever you've been, it's been making you feel trapped and you need help or assistance on, you know, don't hesitate to reach out. Even if it's, you know, support groups or something like that. Or it could be, you know, you're just getting in the energy of being very clear and wise now and be, being able to unstick yourself from the situation also. Wow. Okay, Pisces. So I'm going to go into the extended read. There's a lot of different energies here. So we're going to go into the extended, clarify further all of these energies and see what's exactly going on here. So if you're interested in the extended, uh, links are below for Vimeo Patreon. Vimeo is one at a time purchase. Patreon is a monthly membership. You get access to all my extendeds from YouTube. They charge the first of the month, so the beginning of the month is the time to join if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, links are below, top comment and um, pin top comment in the description box. So if you go, I'll see you there. If not, and also in the extended, I will pull, um, again, a different tarot deck to clarify more of these energies. I'll pull you three new oracles on the future energies, and I'll pull you some archangel messages to see what your guidance and messages are from the angels. So if you go, I'll see you there. If not, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings, and always, always shine your light.